Okay, this is another rusting experiment. Um, it's slightly more complicated than the iron wool in the boiling tube. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through it. And I've made a few assumptions with it as well. <clears throat> Inside my flask here, I've put some iron filings. Now I chose to use iron filings rather than iron wool this time because they've got a larger surface area. So I'm hoping they're gonna react a little bit faster. So uh, I've got iron filings in there and a little bit of water just to make sure there's enough to try to help them rust. Now, the volume that I've got inside my whole container here is the 100 millilitres that I've got in my gas syringe, plus the volume of air that can fit into the conical flask. Now, I measured that earlier. That's 315 millilitres. And I'm going to make a cheeky assumption that there's a negligible volume in this little bit of tubing here. So I think I've got altogether 415 millilitres of gas in this whole setup. I'm going to leave this for a week so that the iron can rust and I've put plenty of iron in there so it's got um, an opportunity to react with all of the oxygen that's in this whole system. It's not going to run out of iron before um, the oxygen's used up. Um, so I made sure there's, there's lots of iron in there. Um, I'm going to leave it for a week and I'll come back and hopefully the plunger will have moved in on my gas syringe to indicate something about the volume of oxygen that was used up by the iron reacting with it. So I'll see you shortly and um, we'll have a look at what's happened to our experiment. Okay, so this is a week later. Um, my conical flask that had the iron filings in it, you can see has rusted quite considerably. That's a really gingery colour in there. And the other thing you'll notice is that the plunger on the syringe has moved in quite significantly. Now, at the beginning of this reaction, we calculated that there were 100 millilitres of gas in the syringe. There were 315 millilitres of gas in the flask and we were going to ignore the volume that was in the tube. We said that was negligible in comparison. Now what I need to do is to use that total volume of gas that was in the system, 415 millilitres, and compare that with the amount of gas that there is now in the system or the amount of um, or the changing volume of gas that there has been in order to calculate the percentage of um, oxygen that was in that gas in the air. Because remember, the iron rusted and reacted with the oxygen that was in that gas. And so any change in, in volume is due to oxygen that has been removed, has been reacted with the iron. So we can use that to make that deduction about the percentage of oxygen in air. So if I move this a little bit closer, I hope you're going to be able to read off the scale what the volume is that's remaining now in this system. So you can see how much it's changed here use that hopefully I think to read the volume of gas from the syringe and we're going to have to add that to the volume of gas in the flask so I think that I've got I think I've got 17 millilitres of gas in my syringe so I'm going to add that to the 315 millilitres of gas in here to find the new total volume and then I can do my calculation.